Hey, Motor Man here. You know, when I did that review of the CVO, it's over 40 grand. I knew, I knew as sure as I know my name, that there was going to be a ton of people in the comment section and just whining and, and moaning about the prices and Harley Davidson is pricing themselves out of the market. They used to be for the middle class, the, the blue collar worker. They used to be for the poor people. Come on, Harley Davidson's are always the most expensive motorcycles. Yeah, you buy it not because of the price, but because you like the way it looks, you like the way it rides, whatever. Uh, I've also heard people say, yeah, you should get an Indian. They're like half the price of Harley Davidson or a gold wing is thousands cheaper. Well, okay. Let's take a look at the facts because that's what I'm going to show you in this video. The absolute facts, according to the websites from several different manufacturers, is Harley Davidson pricing themselves out of the market? Well, and you know, if people keep buying those CVOs, and as far as I know, they've actually the, the CVO model with the six thousand dollar paint job, they're sold out, you can't get them anymore. The other ones, there might be a few around, but most of those are sold out, and every time they come out with a CVO. They sell out the entire fleet and they keep their price up very well. But let's take a look at the competition and what their pricing is at. Now, I'm not going to go over every single model Harley makes, but let's take a look at the streak light. This is the base streak light 24.8. That's with freight and the surcharge. It doesn't count what the dealer might charge over MSRP. But 24800 it's a nicely equipped touring motorcycle. You can get on this bike, ride it across country. You don't need to add anything to it. If you want a little bit more bling, yeah, you can get the more expensive model, 29850 That's for the special. And if you want to add more stuff to this, it, price will go up, the blacked out motor, etc. But there's really no reason for it. And of course, they come in a, a wide variety of colors. And here we have Indians equivalent to the Street Glide. It's priced at $23,799. You might as well say $23,800. But for some reason, Indian doesn't list their surcharge or their freight or anything like that on their website. So I don't know if that's included in the price. I doubt it. But it's pretty close to Harley-Davidson's price. They go all the way up to $36,299 for the Elite model. Nicer paint job. Uh, a lot of different extras on it. But you don't need this model. You can get the, the one for $23,800 and be perfectly happy with it. They're, they're both fine motorcycles, but they ain't cheap. And here's BMW's answer to the street glide, the R18. Now, this is priced at $23,340. However, trying to find one at the base price at a BMW dealership is almost impossible. They've always added a bunch of stuff to it from the factory, factory equipment. They would very rarely, if ever, send the base model to the U.S. And I know that these bikes are just lingering in the showrooms, BMW showrooms around the, the entire country. So you may get a discount on, on one of these bikes. In fact, I, I would hope you would. But to say that the uh, heavyweight touring motorcycles uh, other than Harley Davidson are inexpensive, it, it's crazy. It's just not true. BMW also makes the 1600B. This is a six-cylinder motorcycle. Fine bike. I've ridden this 160 horsepower, but it's $31,220. And like I said, trying to find one uh, with, a, with a, a base price is kind of difficult. You might find it, but I haven't seen it uh, anywhere within 100 miles of where I live. And they go up from there. There's If you start adding some bling to these bikes or the tour pack, etc., like this one here, $33,320. Maybe well worth it. It's up to the buyer, but that's a lot of money. There's nobody selling touring motorcycles, heavyweight cruiser type touring motorcycles that are cheap. Nobody. Now let's take a look at Harley's Ultra Limited. It's 31,649. That of course includes the surcharge and the freight, and it is a fully equipped motorcycle. You don't need to add any more than this. Of course, if you want another color, it's going to cost more. You can get these bikes up to probably about thirty-six thousand dollars. You get the blacked-out motor, uh, the anniversary edition, but starting price right around thirty-one six forty-nine or thirty-one six fifty. Now let's take a look at. Well, let's compare it to the Goldwing, as so many people do. Well, here's the Goldwing base model. It's 26375 That's the least expensive Goldwing, new Goldwing, that you can buy. Now, it does come with something that you can't get on any of the other bikes, and that's the DCT or automatic transmission. Some people think of that as a plus. I don't. I would much rather have a clutch and throttle to use uh, and, and to, for low-speed handling especially. It's far superior to the automatic transmission. But these bikes starting at 26375 well, that's right in line with Harley-Davidson's prices. In fact, it's actually a little bit more. If you want to get the Tour Pack version and with all the options, you're up to 33675 
that is a lot of money no matter how you look at it, but all heavyweight touring motorcycles are a lot of money. You want all the good stuff. You want the fancy colors and paint jobs. You're going to pay more. You want the technology. You're going to pay more. Now, I understand, and people can argue that, well, all these bikes offer much more as far as, far as technology to Harley-Davidson. Well, it, it depends on what you're looking for. There's a reason why Harley-Davidson's never linger in showrooms, and they sell out every one they can make, whereas prior to COVID, you could find two three-year-old gold wings brand new sitting in the showroom. They just don't sell near as well as Harley-Davidson. Generally, when you get up into that price range, over $20,000, people are going to buy Harley-Davidson's. And it makes sense in that when you go to sell them or trade them in, they're always worth more than other motorcycles. So it costs you if it costs you a few hundred bucks more to, to purchase it, you're going to make that up on the other end when you sell it or trade it in. But these are the facts, folks. I did my research. You could do the same thing. Just go to the websites and check out the prices and do the comparison. What you buy is your own business. What you like, that's up to you. We have choices here in America, at least so far. And that's a good thing. So for the folks out there who are saying that Harley prices are out of line, they're putting themselves out of business, uh, either you're uninformed, you're ignorant, or you haven't checked what the competition is doing because the prices are right in line with all the other manufacturers. If you want cheap, cheap is available. You're just not going to get a heavyweight touring or cruising motorcycle like this and get all the bling and you know for $10,000. It's just not going to happen.